Hi, I'm Bonnie. If it is so cheap, is there a, a risk that all the geopolitical um, agreements will be put aside by someone like Elon Musk just doing it? No, no, because any megalomaniac individual entrepreneur is a citizen of some country and their enterprises operate under the legal jurisdiction of some country or countries and that however much it is the modern fashion to kind of ignore the state and to disrespect the state and collective action, in fact, states have the authority. And so if it's ever done, it will very likely, in fact, almost certainly be under the authority of states. We might mistrust the competency and integrity of state decision making and I don't want to be any slouch in believing in political folly, <laughs> um, but I think we don't need to worry about we don't need to worry about Dr. Evil or Elon Musk or Bill Gates doing it on their own. I think um, it is unfair to not point out that there have been instances of individuals um, attempting to test these technologies on their own in terms of um, some ocean acidification that has been done off the coast of um, Canada and that has been only discovered much later and it, ha it has caused a lot of um, impact on the, the, um, the sea life in, in that area. Some guy did it and then the government of Canada forcefully asserted this, its authority. Yeah, and, and they did so little it actually had no impact. It was a completely terrible stunt but the point is the state ruled. As it would. Yeah. It's the American techno fix. Silicon Valley love these kinds of uh, grand schemes. We'll just take control of the earth. You know, it's a technological solution that proves once again uh, the ingenuity of humankind in our intervention over nature. And for people like us, uh, we find this extremely worrying.